everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Tomorrow is Election Day, so tomorrow I will go to the polls, and I will vote. And then I plan to go to the farm store to get my chickens some more chicken food, because they're getting low. I have enough for maybe two days, and then I'm, I have to go. And I'm also going to go to the store and get some half and half, because I'm... I've only got one bottle left in the spare one. refrigerator, yep. so I'm going to have to go get that too, unless I want to drink black coffee, which I don't drink black coffee. Today, I was really busy, trying really hard to gather all the numbers that I could for the Shed Wars. I have had a couple of emails that I've been transpiring, transpiring? No. Trans uh. What is the word I'm looking for? Trans, I was. Hmm. Yeah, I, don't know <laughs> I was conversing back and forth. I don't know what. Conversing would probably be the better. I'm probably well. Whoever can think of that word, <laughs> will put it in the comments. I'm sure. I was conversing back and forth with different um, people. I I talked to um, John from Will It Grow. And he gave me the final number for his team, which is wonderful. Thank you, John. You don't know how hard it is finding these numbers. And he also told me the total of active participants, which is 10 in that group, which has dropped by 3 from what I counted from Mark's list. Because I have, I have the list that Mark, Mark sent out. I have that. I did get an email, or an, it was in my comment, which was, I thank you too, from Carl's Off the Grid. He also gave me his numbers, which was really helpful too. And Cindy's Place put hers into her video, and Patriot Farm put, her, put it in the video, and Many Many put it in the video. So I'm still lacking uh, from Team Peacemaker, I haven't gotten anybody. From Team Over the Pond, I don't have any numbers there. Um, I only have four people from the Woodcutters, and I have um, the final for the Wood Will It Grow. But, um, John, I don't know if you put in the Highland Homestead numbers. She had some really big numbers, and if you didn't put hers in, I think you should. But, You've got a good number as it is. Um, the Team Peacemaker has only three participants. And Team Over the Pond has 17, unless some of them have dropped out. Team Woodcutter had 28. And Will It Grow had 13, but they're down to 10. Team Will It Grow. Um, what I'm going to do, because they aren't so different numbers in each group, what I'll do is I'll take the total from each team and then divide it by the number of people. And that will be the one that gets the highest number that way will be the winner of this Shed Wars. You all have done so good. I'm amazed at, this, at the produce that has been produced, been picked and, mm -hmm. and either canned, um, Frozen, frozen eaten. dried, eaten, given away. Oh my goodness, all the stuff that has been coming out of this Shed Wars. And you are teaching a lot of people that have never grown anything how it is done in your different ways of doing it in your different climates. That's really interesting to see how, because um, when they're talking about winter planting, we don't plant anything in the winter, maybe garlic <laughs> towards the end of the season would mm -hmm. be the only thing we could plant here. But everything else, we wait until spring and then we wait until after Memorial Day a lot of times or just before Memorial Day or on Memorial Day to plant our gardens because that's when the frost is usually all done. Whereas in other places they're doing, they're, they're now putting seeds in for this winter time, which we could never dream of doing. I wish we could, but we can't. If we plant inside, we we might get some some um, like greens, 
but they're going to be pale. They're not going to have the nice greenness because we don't get the sunshine the length of hours. And now with the clocks turned, boy, we really are dark. <laughs> We're dark mm -hmm. now. And it's it's only 6.30. It's been dark for a, a good hour or so because mm -hmm. the chickens have already gone to bed. I just locked them all in and I put Mr. Brown to bed. But what I'd like, the back on the um, Shed Wars, I would like either the team captains to get their numbers to me or if you are someone that is on one of those teams you could put your numbers in the comment section like um like the one did wait a minute, carl like carl's off the grid did he put his numbers in my in my comment section which is great because then i just i just look you up to see what team you're on and I put those numbers with that. You can put in there what team you're on. That would be helpful too, so I don't have to search through these many names that I have. And I can put you in it. And this way we can get the total. Because Saturday I'm supposed to reveal who the winner is. I'm going to talk to, to Ernie and Deb and see if they've gotten any numbers. I did. We have emailed each other and we're all in the dark as far as this goes. So, John, when you do the new rules, I hope it includes something with with um, how people are supposed how to get their report. numbers. Maybe maybe every week give you their numbers so that you can keep a running total of the numbers. And then at the end, you would have the numbers if you're, if it's your, if you're the team leader or whoever the team leaders are. So that the judges can know what the numbers are so we can at least get together through email I did leave my phone number with Ernie and Deb, so if they want to call me, you can call me. I'd be glad to talk to you on the phone and see what your thoughts are. Could even or, do a Zoom with all three. Well, I'd have to, I don't know how to do the Zoom. We'd have to somehow, I don't know if you have to have the emails or, I have no idea how you do <laughs> Zoom. All I know is um, I have done Messenger video conference through me Messenger. I can do that. And through Facebook, no, through Facebook, no, not Facebook, through FaceTime. Mm -hmm. I've done, where I've had my sister and I, and my son and I were in it, so I don't know. But somehow get the numbers to me so that I can figure this out. And then I will talk to the other ladies and see how they, they had planned to do this because I have to put a video up. Robert is the one that suggested that I put a video up on Saturday so that we can end this because 2000, 2021, 21. I, it's like <laughs> so hard to say the numbers when it was 1999 or 19 something. It was easy, but to say 20, it just feels funny. <laughs> so 2021 will be starting real soon. So we have to get these numbers in for this 2020 so that. I guess that's my video for today. I guess I'm done. I hope I made myself kind of clear. I don't know if it was clear or not. If it wasn't clear, you could email me. I do have my email in the ad, in the more section of my about section about me. My email is there. And if you are looking on a computer, you'll find it. If you're on the phone, I don't know if it shows up or not. But And if you do email, put Shed Wars in. Yeah, put in Shed Wars so I know it's that because... I'm not good at looking at my emails unless I know emails are coming. And so I will talk to you all at another time. But in the comments is the best place. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye.